Hi y'all, it's Scarlet again. Last time, I talked about how my father remarried into the mother-daughter pair from hell, how they mistreated me, and how they ran me out of the house over nothing. And the worst part was that dad took their side over mine. It's been 12 long years since all that mess, and I still continue to live with mom and Hiragi. And now we have five more members of our little family. Hey y'all, I'm Lydia, I'm 12 years old and I love making music. Luna Loud's got nothing on her. Hi. I'm Harold, I'm 9 years old and I love arts and crafts. He could sometimes splash finger paint on your clothes, so watch out. How do? I'm Caitlin, but I prefer to be called Katie. I'm 6, and I enjoy sports and fashion. She'll do all she can to make someone's life a living hell if they ever call her Caitlin. You've been warned. I'm Rachel. I'm only 3 and a half years old. And I enjoy comedy. And making others laugh! She idolizes Jim Carrey, Tara Strong, Rob Paulson, Gray Delisle, Griffin, Nancy Cartwright, and every other voice actor in America. And the cute little baby I'm holding is Trace. He's only four months old. Adorable little angel, isn't he? Mom and Hiragi adopted him a month ago. Why didn't I leave yet? Well, that's because, A, Mom specifically said that I'd be the one who'll inherit the villa and the many other assets of hers once she dies. B, they needed a lot of help with my step-siblings judging how boisterous and energetic they could be. And C, I'd be continuing to make Judy and Lucy jealous of my luxurious life. Four years ago, stepdad Hiragi quit his job as a middle school drama and choir teacher and opened up a family dinner theater. And to this day we are the main stars of the show. We do our performances twice a month. And because of that, we're seen as the most popular family in the neighborhood. But Tweedledum and Tweedledumer were so jealous, that they used to come to our shows to heckle and wreak havoc in front of the audience. Get off the stage, you all suck. I bet I can pull a better act than you and your snot-nosed brats of your step-siblings. So one time I decided to be generous and let Lucy perform a special dance. But unfortunately for her, because she never took a lesson in her life, she didn't get the praise she was hoping for. That resulted in her throwing her little tantrums before storming off with her tail between her legs. Another time I had to go on a date to the carnival with my boyfriend. And I needed someone to watch the kids for the day. I called all my friends so they can watch them, but they too are busy with their own lives. So, I have no other choice but to call, her. Surprisingly, Lucy agreed to babysit. Little had I known, it was just an opportunity for her to get back at me. When I came back from my amazing time with Aiden. <laughs> Lydia, darling, what's the matter? Scarlet, it's horrible. Miss Price is a babysitter from hell. Lids explained that Lucy smashed her guitars, ruined Harry's paintings, deflated Katie's basketballs and soccer balls and hid all her sports equipment, broke Rachel's flat-screen TV with the remote, and shook Trace until he cried like a mad baby. It's as if she's against us having fun or something. Yeah. I forgot to mention she constantly hits us just for breathing the same air as her. We caught her red-handed stealing your money, clothes, shoes, and jewelry, then trashing your room. She also blackmailed us into silence. Otherwise, she would have left us with a lot more bruises. Don't believe me? Witness the teddy cam. Wow. That stepsister of mine is crazy as hell. Why couldn't you call the cops? Simply because she took our phones away. As a matter of fact, she smashed them to the ground with a mallet. The next day, with the evidence we got from the bear, we reported Lucy's crimes to the police. Then court day came. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucille Price is found guilty of destruction of property, theft, child abuse, and more. I hereby sentence her to 12 years in the county prison. Court adjourned. And that's payback for framing me and running me out of the house 12 years ago. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You have no right to talk at all, you incompetent freak. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. Settle down, flame princess. I'm just here to ask one little question. Why? Why did you decide to do what you did? Obviously, because I hate you. You're living the life mom and I wanted to have, minus having siblings. 
We should be in that villa, we should own that dinner theater and we should be up on stage and become stars of the neighborhood, no, the town, but you just had to waltz around and steal our damn dream. And for that, I can't let you nor your new family live in peace and happiness. You're crazy, you know that? When I got back from visiting Lucy in prison, Dad called just to yell at me. What's wrong with you Scarlet? Why would you put Lucy in prison? Thanks to you, Judy lost all her marbles and became even harder to live with, and I can't control her anymore. How are you gonna make this right? As I told you a million times, Judy and Lucy are crazy. Always have been from the start. But it's just like you not to care to listen to what I say. So have fun and good luck with the psycho that lives with you. And he's blocked again. After receiving compensation from Bruce and Judy for their daughter's actions, I took charge and promptly replaced all the damaged electronics and prized possessions. Though I did get a hell of an earful from Mom and Hiragi for leaving the kids in Lucy's hands in the first place, they're still proud of me for saving their lives and putting that criminal behind bars for a long, long time. On the other hand, Judy couldn't fathom the fact she wouldn't be seeing Lucy for the next 12 years, that she verbally and physically took it out on her husband, and that's when he finally realized her psychotic behavior. Last I heard, he divorced her while she was placed in a psych ward. I still may not get an apology, nor and I was right from dad, for ignoring all my warnings, but I finally got my revenge against the prices. The end. Thanks for watching, 